But first, the big news from the transfer world today is that Tottenham have completed the free signing of Israel winger Maynard Solomon. This is how they announced their new signing on Twitter. He joins on a five-year contract from Shakhtar Donetsk, having spent last season on loan at Fulham, where he scored five goals in 24 games. And Michael Bridge joins me now to bring us right up to speed with this deal. Michael, what can you tell us? Yeah, he's a winger that Ange Postacoglu likes, uh, an inverted left winger, which adds a bit more competition in those positions. Uh, last season, Lucas Moura left Spurs at the end of his contract. So just, you know, adds more competition. And, you know, he had a very good loan spell uh, at Fulham last season. Now, he was able to leave Shakhtar for free this summer after a FIFA ruling allowing non-Ukrainian players to suspend their contracts uh, due to war in the country and I, I mean Fulham were keen to keep him as well but he ends up joining Tottenham and Spurs actually play Shakhtar in a few weeks um, in a, in a pre-season friendly at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium uh, the week before the season starts so that would be a really special game uh, for mm -hmm. the people of Ukraine but uh, yeah Solomon joins Tottenham and uh, I think there should be more coming in maybe over the next few weeks. Yeah more incomings then for Tottenham how many more do you expect and any outgoings as well to balance the books? Well I think at the start of the, uh, the start of the pre-season I think Ange Postacoglu sat down with the board and you know they were looking at maybe potentially getting a new goalkeeper they got that in Gwen Guillermo Vicario he, he's in and you get the impression that he might just go straight in as the number one so if we could talk yeah. about outgoings here uh, you know, I expect Hugo Lloris to leave. He, I mean, he has said this to French media that he wants a new challenge. He's the club captain, so plenty of change at Spurs this summer. Um, I think a couple of defenders might move on as well. There's interest abroad for, for Davinson Sanchez, uh, Giovanni Lo Celso. I'd, I'd be surprised if he went on tour this weekend. So Spurs go on tour this weekend to Australia, and I think we'll get a better picture uh, at the weekend of what players... Uh, might be surplus to requirements because I don't envisage the whole squad to travel and like last season when Spurs went to uh, South Korea, a few players stayed at home, secured loan moves elsewhere and I think that would be the same this time around too.